I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. This one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. his left gets it out to the halfback brought down at the 26 yard line maybe a yard that time on the screen Newsom back deep to return he gets it away and this is a really nice punt Newsom fields it at the 30 Carter's a guy that you really have to game plan for if you're a defensive coach, Herbie. And we talked to those guys this week, and, and he gives them nightmares, I think. Yeah, I think he does. I think they're concerned about his big playability. I think you're really going to have to see this defense commit numbers to the line of scrimmage, put an eighth, sometimes even a ninth guy up close to the line of scrimmage. And by slowing him down, that can give yourself a chance to be able to slow down this offense. You don't always need to throw the ball with a lot of zip, although it does help in some cases. When you have accuracy like this guy, you can make all the throws. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for the yards. That brings him second and five. And they make the stop around the 22-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing line. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. It's up, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tar Heels are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Now he's scrambling. They bring him down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. Draw 
play, and the defense was ready for it. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. And a quick throw. And he tackles him hard at the 38. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. They're set to go for another round. North Carolina is up by three. Scrambling around. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 29. but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. it to the 28-yard line. That brings us fourth and 11. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. And he's tackled at the 37. North Carolina is looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time, but let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Now, the quarterback has to be careful here not to leave his receiver so vulnerable like that. He took a licking right there. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. Out of bounds at the 41-yard line. around the 48-yard line. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 47. the run right side tackle outside after a nice pickup both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter low scoring and close right now the Tar Heels lead 3 nothing. welcome back here we resume action now here in the second quarter
fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offensive coordinator very happy about the execution on that last play. And he's going to be sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. About six yards on that completion. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. It's the ninth play of the drive. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws a laser across the middle. He's brought down in the open field. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Virginia Tech can tie it up here with this kick. It's up, looks long enough, and he nails the long field goal. Johnson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Just throws this one away. Second and 10, ball on their own 25. They come out in an empty backfield. He goes out of bounds at the 30. He's on the run, and he's sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. Robinson awaiting the return. It's away and it's a booming punt. Robinson fields it at the 26. Room around the corner. Gets to about the 41 yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That brings him second and five. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling, and he's taken down right around the 50. made right around the 48 yard line gain of two yards first down from the 48 yard line first down you can't block me you can't block me he steps out at the 44 yard line Second 
there's a strike complete. He's tackled right around the 34. From the 34-yard line, first down. Ready! Ready! Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Let's go one more. Hey, check Mike 21. Mike 21. Check Mike 21. He's hit and taken down. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they looked sharp before this one even started. The pitch, and he's got some room. The 10 makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. Nobody picked up the running back on that option play. The defense is so concerned about the quarterback's ability to create that they left the halfback all alone. And once he took the pitch, there wasn't anything between him and the goal line. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 60-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up his play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 10-3. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. North Carolina's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, they're, they're star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when we start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points on. Short over the middle. Brought down around the 44-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Zips it to the back. He lets it fly. Got him again. Touchdown. Huge play. Will be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Atkins has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Fires right side. He's got his tailback. And they make the stop at the 28-yard line. That's a game. Second, seven. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 28. around the 31-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. <laughs> Grabs it and hammered right there. So we've played two quarters and a 10-10 tie in this game.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes, because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it at harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Great first half in a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. Rifles it left. It's dropped. Incomplete. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled around the 49-yard line. Bring him down to the 37 yard line. And now he's got room to run. He's at the 20. Brought down near the goal line. Strike to his receiver, no good. Here's the eighth play of the series. They're packed in tight on the line. They'll work the right side. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That makes his third and goal. And he stopped behind the line. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. As they found out right here on this play. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. North Carolina could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away. And it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He gets to about the 34-yard line. 
That's a deep oh, nine. Nine. That brings up second and one. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of four yards. First down. Check right 21. Right 21. Check right 21. Let's go. Steps out of bounds at about the 41. Second and six. Ball on the 41. That makes it second and six. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 42. Newsom back deep to return. Booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. North Carolina has a three-point lead. Nice run there as they work the outside. That makes it second and six. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. In the shotgun and five wideouts. They'll drop him for a loss. Anytime a running back gets one-on-one -on -one with a safety, I think that running back has the confidence in his own athletic ability to be able to make that safety miss and, and get upfield for some yards. That time, the safety just dominated him, made a great tackle in the backfield for a short loss. This is a great punt-blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Robinson fields it at the 34, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 44. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. Second and eight, ball on the 46. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Gets it, he's in space. And he's taken down right around the 42 yard line. Morris is on the tackle at the 42 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Slings it, and he's hit immediately. Second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Here we go. Run, run, run. They give to the tailback. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Not much there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. Watch two, watch two. Now he tries to buy some time. They bring him down. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and nine.
They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Here's the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the 32. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 13-10, Tar Heel. Welcome back to the action, fourth quarter. This one will decide a tight ball game through three. Get to that quickly. You've got to wonder here early in the fourth quarter if that stop and a play like that might be the momentum swing this team needs to win it. It's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. He gets it up and it's long enough. And it's good! They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Going right, intercepted. He's at the 40. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. What a crucial interception, and that'll change the whole landscape of this game. And now is the time to take advantage. This offense still has a job to do. They need to put points on the board to break this tie. But wow, do we have a great game or what? First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Caught and big hit there to stop it. Quick throw. He's at the 20. He's taken down around the 18 yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 18 yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time. Fires it out. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. First and goal as they look to take the lead. He's scrambling. Brought down at the three-yard line. That's a game of two. That brings up second and goal. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 34-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The score now, 2013. Johnson gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And he's tackled at the 18-yard line. The defenses have certainly been the story in this football. No doubt about it, the defenses have been dominating on both sides of the ball, but one play from either of these offenses could determine the outcome of the ball game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Set! And off to the left. He fights forward to about the 20. They go with a run 
down, and he's taken down behind the line. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Right. To get back in this game here in the fourth, this third and goal is vital. Less than three minutes in the game. He's going left. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. Quickly to the tailback, and they make the stop at the 50-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Caught, open field, and he's tackled at the 35. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Completes it across the middle. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. And he's level at the one. Just over a minute left. Touchdown, Tar Heels. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Hankins looks ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Knocked down immediately after the catch. From their own 41 yard line, first down. They'll bring him down around the 45-yard line. Quick out to his receiver, and he hits him hard at the 40. Easy, 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 easy. Tiger, Tiger. That makes it first and 10. He's under pressure. Loose football, and the ball hawking safety scoops it up. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. We're late in the fourth quarter. Great game, a tied football game. And the question now is, who's going to rise to the occasion? Under a minute left in the game. He's got it with room to run. Check, 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 
Caught and out of bounds after a short game. And this field goal is for the game. A miss will mean overtime. Kicks up. We're going to OT. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. Anderson picks up about seven yards on the halfback draw. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He fights forward to about the 16. A two-yard run by the halfback. With the safeties coming up, making plays near the line of scrimmage, that tells your offense they've got to start throwing the ball to keep them honest. Up the middle for a nice game. He fights forward to about the 10. Game one on the play. That brings up second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 10. Straight in the middle, he meets the defense. That brings up third and 10. Great execution and a great way to start overtime. Now you put this thing in the hands of your defense. If they step up, you get the win. And he hits the PAT. the 25-yard line. It's first down. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. Tackle at the 23. out to the tailback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds around the 10-yard line. Gain of 13 on the play. That makes it first and goal. A touchdown away from a tie. He's scrambling. And down he goes at about the five-yard line. Second and goal. 
Scrambling around. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. And that sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's second and goal. Ball on the three-yard line. He's got the corner. Touchdown, Hokies! So they draw first blood here in double overtime. Avoiding field goals in overtime is just huge. Anytime you can get six in overtime instead of three, you're going to be tough to beat. And he adds the extra point. First and 10. Ball on the 25. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws complete touchdown. So the offense comes up big, and now they're just an extra point away from a third overtime period. I know we usually don't talk about extra points being big kicks, but they don't get much more important than this one. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Both teams are dead tired, but one is going to outlast the other. This is looking like a classic in the making. From the 25-yard line, first down. Ready. Green 88. Green 88. Slings it. And he's taken down at the 10. He's got his half back. He gets hit out of bounds around the 17-yard line. That'll make it second and long. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 17. Quick toss. The offense took an errant shot into the end zone, and I'll tell you what, that one should have been picked off. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to hear all about that from his teammates when he comes over to the sidelines. Fires it quickly. Picked off. It's the quarterback. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Here's the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the 20-yard line. Gaining five yards. That brings him second and five. Watch 35, watch 35. Get to that quickly. 
He's tackled at about the 17-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Game of seven on the play. That makes it first and goal. Let's go, He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down around the nine-yard line. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the nine. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Touchdown, VTech! Boy, a sensational finish. And tons and tons of credit to the defenders for keeping them off the board on that first series. These guys looked loose and ready to grab this one, and that's exactly what they did. It's final, a close one to the very end. Virginia Tech 40, North Carolina 34. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.